Today we are counting down my picks for the top five goth tarantulas. So let's get right into it. Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and if you enjoy videos like this, make sure you hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to turn on all notifications so you don't miss any videos in the future. Today, we're counting down the top five black tarantulas, or goth tarantulas. Now, this is just my opinion. These are just my favorite ones, but there are a lot of black tarantulas out there. And today, we're gonna start off with number five, and that is the Tilicato Volgans, or the Mexican Red Rump Tarantula. This species is found in Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and the Yucatan Peninsula. There's also a small population of them that can be found near Fort Pierce, Florida in an orange grove, but how they were introduced to that area has yet to be established. This velvety black tarantula is a staple in the hobby and is very inexpensive and easy to find. Though they aren't solid black, they are mostly black, and they have that very striking red sete on their abdomen. Now, every Mexican red rum tarantula that I've had has been very feisty and defensive, but I have heard some reports from people out there who actually got very docile specimens. But anytime I think of black goth tarantula, this is one of the first species that comes to mind. Now the number four black tarantula has a couple of pops of colors in it as well. I didn't want to bore everyone with just solid black tarantulas. And this one is one of my favorites. So number four is the Salmopius erminia, or the Venezuelan sun tiger. This tarantula can be found in Venezuela, North Guyana, and Northern Brazil. It is a new world arboreal tarantula, meaning it spends most of its life in the trees. Though in captivity, they will do a little bit of burrowing and can be kind of reclusive. I rarely see mine out except for real late at night, but when I do see her, she is such a beauty, it is totally worth the wait. When they're freshly molted, they have a very deep black color with the bright orange stripes and spots. But the closer they get to their next molt, the more that black starts to get a little bit of a silver or gray highlight, and the orange starts to fade. But even in pre-molt, they are still a beautiful tarantula. And no list of black tarantulas would be complete without the Venezuelan sun tiger. Now number three is a species that's not as popular in the hobby, though it really should be. Part of that may be that it hasn't totally been scientifically described. This is another arboreal tarantula, but this one is old world. So in the number three spot is the Lampropelma species Borneo Black. Found in the trees of Central, South, and East Kalimantan, Indonesia Borneo, and Sabah State in Malaysian Borneo, this old world arboreal tarantula is about as goth as they come. Solid black all over, but with a little hint of pink on its feet. Now I can only speak to my own experience, but my Borneo black tarantula is very reclusive. I hardly ever see her. Maybe two or three times a month, I'll catch her out of her burrow, wandering around her enclosure. And that's usually pretty late at night. Being an Asian arboreal coming from a tropical landscape, they do require a little bit more moisture in their enclosure. The care form is pretty simple, but again, they're extremely reclusive and very fast. And being an old world species, especially Lampropelma, their venom is rumored to be pretty potent. So it's definitely not a species I'd suggest for a beginner. Now, before we get back to the list, I wanna thank Seven Wonders Tarantulas for sponsoring today's video. Now, they are a family-operated business owned by Jonathan Silva, who has been in the tarantula community for nearly 20 years. They recently opened a storefront in Central California, and you can find them at nearly every reptile expo in California, Nevada, and Utah. Seven Wonders also just launched their official website, and they're having a massive sale to celebrate. Right now, you can get 40% off all orders over $120 when you use the code TTC. 
40 at checkout. All spiders are priced at the market rate, so 40% off is an amazing deal. They also have shock boxes, which are like mystery boxes, except the value of the spiders will exceed the cost of the box, and you will be shocked by the species you receive. And also look for them on Facebook and Arachnoboards, where you can find many fantastic reviews. Thanks again for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to this list. As I said before, there are a lot of black tarantulas out there, even more in nature than are in the hobby. And I couldn't fit all of them onto this list, but there are a few honorable mentions I wanna go through real quick. They didn't really make the list because they're very similar to other tarantulas that did make the list. So the first one is the Seriopogapus minax, or the Thailand big black tarantula. Next is the Afonapelma utilum, or the California ebony tarantula. The next honorable mention is the Afonapelma Johnny Cash, which is a newly described species of Afonapelma named after Johnny Cash because he's the man in black. And the last honorable mention is the Tilicato Strideri or the Mexican Black Beauty Tarantula. And the number two species on this list is the Afonapelma Steindock Neri or the Steindock Neri Ebony Tarantula. I seriously doubt I'm pronouncing that correctly. Very similar to the Afonapelma utilum, this tarantula is found along the southern coast of California, the Mojave Desert, and the southern portions of the Sierra Nevadas. So essentially Southern California and Northern Baja California in Mexico. This all black tarantula is a beauty. And though they are a little more rare, this species and the utilum look very similar. And you should be able to find at least one of them from your favorite tarantula dealer. Now mine is only a sub adult right now, so she still isn't showing off those really deep velvety black colors, but this should at least give you an idea what they look like. Solid black, fluffy, and just an amazing species. And the number one goth or black tarantula in the hobby, at least in my opinion, I'm sure all of y'all know what I'm gonna say right now, but that is the Gramistola pulchra or the Brazilian black tarantula. found along the border of Brazil and Uruguay. This tarantula is also sometimes labeled Gramistola cuargai. There is a river that creates the border between Uruguay and Brazil. So the specimens found on the Brazilian side are slightly different genetically from the ones found on the Uruguay side. And there is even a rumor that a third species of black tarantula can be found in that same area, but on the other side of the river in Argentina. At one time, these are probably all the same species, but being separated by these rivers has caused them to evolve over thousands or even hundreds of thousands of years into slightly different species. They look very similar, they're closely related, but they definitely are not the exact same species. But whether you have a pulchra or a QR guy, you would agree that they are an amazing species. One of my favorite tarantulas overall, let alone my favorite black tarantula. Now, if there are any species of black tarantula that didn't make my list, or if you disagree with where I rank these tarantulas, make sure to leave me a comment down below and tell me all about it. Now, if you wanna see my video on the top 10 blue tarantulas, I will link that right here. As always, I appreciate you watching Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>